What's good, YouTube? This is the Fortune Gamer here. They can call me Josh or Juniper, whichever one you prefer. And welcome to episode number eight of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow Version. Last episode, we took care of that route above us, and as you saw in the title last time, we got motherfucking Charmander. And he evolved into Charmeleon. Oh, wonderful. So, if you see anything different with levels or moves or any of that stuff, that's just because, well, I had to redo gameplay like two times because I defrosted it instead of freezing the game, which is kind of like saving when you're on an emulator on a computer, so that sucks, but it is what it is. And here, I did find out how to get a Bulbasaur, and we are going to talk to this lady and have another member added to our party. What you got for us? I took care of injured Pokemon. I nursed this Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. I know, would you take care of it, this Bulbasaur for us? Yay, we would. Yes, we got Bulbasaur. No, we ain't nicknaming this. Oh my goodness. So while we're on the topic of starters, well, question of the day. Wonderful. What is your favorite starter Pokemon out of all the gens? You can even choose the next gen. Whatever you guys want. My favorite is obviously Piplup because my favorite Pokemon is Empoleon. So yeah, Piplup is pretty amazing. <laughs> I mean, well, not Piplup himself, but I mean, seriously, I'm just gonna fast forward these. But I mean, come on now. Piplup is just such a cool Pokemon. Eh, Bulbasaur is not ready yet. I'm gonna do the switch out strategy, though. But I mean, he's just such a cool Pokemon, and then he evolves into Primplup, and then Primplup evolves into Empoleon. Really cool. I mean, I kinda just went through all this last time. So, oh yeah, wait, what? Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. For a second, I looked weird. I don't know why. But, um, anyway, yeah. I don't want to re-go through my whole, like, speech, like, Oh, yeah, Empoleon's awesome, yeah. We all know he's awesome. Anyway, we defeat that swim. We're on to the next trainer here now. And we're about to face off against Misty after this. The water type gym layer of Cerulean City. We're gonna face off against this Picnicker, I believe that is. And I think we're just around the right level, because Pikachu's level 26. And it looks like the levels are around, like, 17 to 19 about. And we have 11, 26, and 16. Really off balance, because we got both of these uh, other Pokemon very recently, so, you know, have to expect that. So, Bulbs are already level 12, maybe we can even evolve him this episode, that would be really neat. And anyway, we're gonna talk to Misty here. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? Um, attack, yay. My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? Sure. Yeah, we'll be ready. So anyway, I do want to talk about this. A big Pokemon X and Pokemon Y topic, and by the time that this video is out to you guys, it's going to be two or three days at least late, but I do want to get my opinion out on it, and it is the Kanto starters, as you know, we're getting them a lot in this game, which is pretty neat, and uh, yeah, <laughs> after uh, your friend actually gives you your starters in the Kalos region, you get even more starters, pretty neat, from Professor Sycamore, and an X Defend, a bit of an odd item there. Anyway, yeah, we, uh, you get a Kanto starter from Professor Sycamore, who is the professor of the new Pokemon X and Pokemon Y games. The Kalos region, Professor, which, wow, down and out, critical hit, very good Pikachu. And anyway, so what's so special about the Kanto stars besides their awesomeness and their amazingness? Well, their evolutions are even better with the new Mega Evolutions. A Pokemon- oh, it's a stupid Skype notification. You guys probably can't hear that. But, um, Bulbasaur learned line with Woo. And anyway, yeah, they get Mega Evolutions, and they look sick. I mean, alright, right, it's- it's- it's crazy, alright? So, Venusaur is probably, like, the least best out of them all. He's probably- he's probably the worst out of them all. But he's still looking pretty cool. He has, like, palms added onto him, like, the flowers, like, taller. He has some, like, vines hanging off of him. And then he, like, he just looks a lot more intimidating. He has the thick fat ability added onto him. Alright? Which makes him more defensive, I guess you could say, against ice types and fire types, which are his weaknesses. That's great. And he also raises his defense and his special defense, which is also pretty sick. We're gonna use Thunderbolt here. Maybe be able to take out this uh, Starmie here. And Starmie is on yellow, red. Or no, there is no yellow in the animation. But, yep. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's paralyzed. Sweet, but probably gonna use a uh, potion or something. So, um, whatever, though. Anyway, yeah, we're on yellow now. But, uh, let's just, let's just throw out a mega punch, because we can. Oh, not even, not even a potion. Wow. Alright, that was a piece of cake. What, how far are we in? Where, 
We're 4 minutes and 56 seconds in. That's just great. But anyway, yeah. So then Charizard gains the ability to route. And he looks more like a dragon. Sadly, they are keeping him as fire flying. Bulbasaur's gaining the levels like crazy now. And he's looking sick. He's looking like a dragon, even though he's not. <laughs> and then Blastoise. This guy is one sick motherfucker. This guy has cannons on his back, on his arms, and his face is like... <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> he's such an intimidating dude. Let's see what Misty has to say, though, after we just crushed her. I, I, it, it wasn't even enough time to talk about Pokemon X and Y, that's just sad. The Cascade Badge, even though that's one word somehow in the Pokemon world, makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. We don't care about that. That includes even outsiders. There are others? No. <laughs> There's more. You can now use cut anytime. And, wow, a lot of capital words here, but, you know, we're, you know, all uppercase, you know, Pokemon likes their caps lock, I guess. And, yeah, you can use cut to cut down bushes to open up new paths. Okay, we don't have anyone for that, at least at the moment. You also have my favorite TM, which is Bubble Beam, I think. It's either Bubble Beam or Water Pulse. I'm not definite on that, actually. What do you have to say? What is that? TM11 teaches Bubble Beam. Woo. Use it on Aquatic Pokemon. We will do when we get Squirtle, because that's our last starter that we get. So, anyway, yeah. That is Misty. Pretty cool. And, uh, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much that. Blastoise is a beast. Charizard's a beast, and not as much, but still a beast. Here's Venusaur. Yes, Pokemon Center. Woo. And we are restored. Okay, so now, um, yeah, we're, we're like, we're almost seven minutes in. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, start our way down to Vermilion. In the next episode, we'll, uh, finish off our journey to there. So we beat Misty, we got a new Pokemon, and hopefully we can evolve it soon. What you got? What you got? These poor people were robbed here. We're positive that Team Rocket is behind this terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with that rocket. Ooh, I know what happened. I forgot to, uh, sorry for the speed up abuse, but I forgot to do this off screen. I meant to do this off screen. That was my bad. I forgot to talk to Bill. <laughs> when I was off screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take care of your little machine thingy. This is from last time. Yeah, let's. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry about that. I don't like using the speed up button, like, abusively, but I mean. This is, um, this was off-screen stuff that I meant to, uh, you know. Yeah, 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 SSN. Yeah, we needed that, actually, yeah. I forgot uh, to do that off-screen. I don't know what the heck is going on. Yes, I would go and, uh, for you or whatever. So anyway, yeah, sorry. Speed up abuse. I am guilty. So anyway, now I am going to stop running in 3, 2, 1. Bingo! Now the lady's gone. Woo. Alright, so now we're gonna make our way through here, and this guy, like, Team Rocket, like, stole his TM for, like, Dig or something like that. What do you have to say? Hey, stay out! It's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Team Rocket is again back to try to torment us, but we're just gonna crush him. I'm gonna use Charmeleon here. Let's just, just, just give him a shot. Give him a shot. I think he was level 17. But, um, I guess, uh, when I did the off-screen training, I didn't get as much training done. So, oh well, what are you gonna do? There we go, and Drowsy, put back in Bulbasaur, and my team's actually getting beat right now. I might have to go ahead and, uh, run back just to restore for a moment, uh, which is not good, but... Is what it is, Bulbasaur level 15, about to evolve, and Pikachu grew level 2. Alright, yep, return the TM, you better. Alright, so let's go ahead and teach... TM28, yep, that's a dig, 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 we got... Charmeleon can learn. That's a good move for him to learn. Yes. Add some diversity to his move set. Yep, yep, yep. I just don't want to do it too fast because then he delayed a move. See, look, it automatically comes up. It's not like, you know, I don't know, it's weird. Alright, so anyway, we're gonna delete uh, Growl. Because Growl is meh. And I don't like Growl. Growl doesn't like me, I don't like Growl. Alright, so anyway, that's that whole mess done. And now we're just gonna go ahead and just restore real quick here and, um, I'm not going to use the speed up button just because I sped up like a bunch just a minute ago, so I'm not going to speed up that just to uh, do anyone that doesn't uh, like to speed up, do them justice. And there we go, we're just going to heal up. And we're almost 10 minutes in. Yeah, I'm going to end this episode off in just a moment. And um, yeah, make sure that you let me know what your favorite starter Pokemon is. And also let me know, do you like these new uh, Mega Evolutions that are thrown into the Kanto uh, Evolutions and <laughs> Charizard? Oh, no, I don't want your services, no. Uh, Venusaur and Blastoise, I like it, you know. Do you think it takes away, you know, like, an older part of the game? It's just kind of like, 
just making it kind of like blah, you know, you don't like it, or, uh, you know, let me know. I like it. I think that's a nice addition. I think that they're really addressing the older fans and trying to, you know, I, you don't know how many pictures I've seen of people being like, oh, they need to make a Mega Blastoise, like, before even the Mega Terminal was, like, introduced, they need to make a really big Blastoise and, like, you know, <laughs> they need to put cannons on his back or something like that, you know, they, I always see pictures of, like, huge-ass cannons and, you know, all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Next time, we'll take care of the route on the way to Vermilion, and I think that we might also get a Squirtle from Officer... Jenny, I'm not too sure, but I think that's what we're doing next episode, and uh, so after that we should be able to take on Lieutenant Surge, so until next time guys, thank you for watching, this is the 4th Gen Gamer, I'm out.